Hello all you lovely ladies and gentlemen, I am Ezekraft. I'm back here with my good friend Imperialist Rocketeer in Europe Universalis 4 North Sea Edition. Where last we left off, I enjoyed the fruits of peace and Rocketeer got into a war against Sweden and Scotland because they want independence from his filthy uh, rotten fish in a whole eating ways. Say hello, by the way. Hello everybody. Well, look, they're not any better on the rotten fish eating thing, and they pulled in the Scottish to help them. The Scottish of all people. So, your point? My point. My point is, they're dirty, rotten cheaters who should have settled this like men instead of crying out for outside help. <laughs> It is nice to see less red in your name, though. I will admit. But yeah, oh. whenever you're ready, we'll get this going again, and we can show the people just how well you fight a war. Shall we? Shall we indeed. So, meanwhile, I am just recovering from the war. Been watching stuff on TV, you know. Have you seen the new episode of Timeless yet? Uh, the newest one? I have... The one in Las not. Vegas. Uh, no, I have not. It's a pretty interesting... Less, like, majorly impactful, but it's obvious they're setting up, like, an arc for some other points. Like, there are no major historical events akin to, uh, the Hindenburg, or... Blinken assassination. Dipl I'm not going to spend Diplotech right now. Thank you should. You. What are you going to be using your Diplo points for? <laughs> I'm already halfway to it. National ideas. Alright, national ideas. I sh I'm going to have to get those at some point. Meanwhile, there is still the Renaissance. It is spreading through Venice. Yep. Fun times to be Venetian. Very fun times to be a Venetian. I'm playing the scroll in, scroll out game right now. The scroll in, scroll out game? Yeah. You scroll in, then you scroll out. Then you move to somewhere else on the map, and you scroll in, and you scroll out. Rinse and repeat. Yep. Muscovy is currently losing both of their wars. So do you think the Golden Horde will manage to live on? Yes, I think Golden Horde will manage to live on. No, I mean to the end of the game. End of the game? Probably not. For now, yes. For now, yes, definitely. But it depends on how big of a chunk must be taken out of it. You know, I'm letting my war exhaustion go down, because it's like 13. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Sweden. Go ahead and try. Come on. Hmm, fine. That's a level 3 fort. They I'm not happy about this. But at the same time, they don't seem to be doing a very good job of going after that capital fort. That's well, I have an air now. Uh oh. On the minus side, she's a 1 1 2. Which is not great. My air at the moment is a. Two one four. Lots of military tech in my near future, I see. 
Well, now it's 15k to 10. I'm not. I don't want to take the, those odds on with a water crossing. I don't think. Mm -hmm. Maybe not I the do. best idea. Even if I do have maneuver over them, but still not the world's best idea in history. It'd help if my legitimacy wasn't non-existent right now. My legitimacy at the moment is a hundred, so that's nice. I have nineteen. Right, look. Then what do you want? Okay, things look like they're going pretty well over there. You know, you got North Sweden carpeted in red. Yeah. It is at least something. Castile is fighting Granada. Feels finally up to that, huh? Yep. How about that? I know I have loans. No, I know. Ooh. They're going for it. Let's just hope I manage to win this thing. Well, I hope you do. Well, if I don't, I'm screwed. Perfect. Perfect what? I think I actually managed here. You won the battle? I won the battle. Did I win the war? I don't know, did you win the war? Will you win the war? I mean, you'd better win the war, also disappoint our viewers, but... Not quite worried about disappointing our viewers at this point in time, but... Anyways, uh, have you watched? Perfect. Have you watched the first episode of the new volume of Ruby yet? I have not, because I'm cheap, and I don't want to pay money for things, if I can help it. Didn't pay money for things, and I still watched it, you know. Besides, I haven't actually seen Volume 3 yet, so... I 
I regret nothing. Wait, you haven't seen Volume 3 yet? No, I've just been horribly spoiled on all of it. Oh, wow. I apologize. It's fine. You didn't do anything wrong. Blame the internet. I blame the internet personally. I will blame the internet. The internet is always wrong. Time to go improve relations with Hungary. Why? Because I have a mission that asks me to. Yeah, that's a good reason. I have a mission to create an army, so I'm working on that. Have you seen the new episode of Star Wars? The Last Battle? Ah, the new episode of Rebels? Uh, not yet, unfortunately. The one that is totally not based off a certain campaign in Battlefront 2. Obviously not. It's just... Lies. Lies and scan. Yeah, yeah, Cord Breda. Although, on the other hand, if anyone is, um, if anyone here is interested in some good fiction to read and does like Star Wars, there have been some very in There is an interesting, uh, fan fiction I've been reading recently called yeah. Erosion of the Spirit. Admittedly, whoever, if you do choose to read this, you better love code for, because if you don't love Knights of the Old Republic, you are going to uh, not like this at all. <laughs> Aren't it's not. I mean, I can't really complain about KOTOR. Yeah. But the general synopsis of it is... Ahsoka and Bera Sophia are now break out of jail and are now smugglers. Okay. Where it goes from there, I can't say without ruining most of it. Interesting. Renaissance is still spreading. It's now jumped down to Dalmatia and has... All of Venice except Istria. I just like to keep the viewers informed, you know? Moscovy is still losing their war. But Morgan's Kazan than Golden Horde. And Rocketeer is losing his war too. Shh. I'm technically only losing because I haven't occupied Stockholm yet. Well, you should get around doing that at some point, you know? Also, I do find it amusing that the fact that the Scottish have more units than all of our armies combined That's and are just... basically just sitting in one province in northern Norway. They do that. Seriously, why won't anyone ally me? Oh, they're going to the other province in northern Norway that they're going to try to besiege. Let's make this claim on here.
eight or more exhaust. I'm just sitting here like, man, I can't believe Novgorod is still alive. And basically on trains borders. Well, not basically on trains, they are on trains. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Don't see that sort of thing happening too often. Nope. On the other hand, I'm kind of surprised basically none of the borders in the HRE have changed at all. And that France doesn't seem to have been doing much of anything. I think France is biding their time. Plus they just got a new king. But for some reason they want to out with me because with me they don't trust me. They are now under King Louis the Eleventh de Valois. Alrighty. Um. Well, he's a four three two. And if he dies, then they'll be the same um, dynasty as Aragon. Interesting. Nice that dynasty card just so people can see. Oh, uh, Castile has a Trastimer has the same dynasty as Aragon, but the uh, Iberian Wedding hasn't fired yet. British got them Lancasters, also no Blue. Jack Yellen, Barokovich, Skite, Skite, Ron Wittelbach. All the nice dynasties. Oh, it's a bit surprising. No one's attacking me down here in Scon. It's almost as if they've realized it's probably a bad idea. Nah. They're just biding their time. What, with a 2k troop that just seems to keep marching into random parts of Sweden? I don't know, man. I'm sure they've got some sort of master plan. Job, Sweden. Reoccupying the Armand. Well, they, the, they have the best plans, don't you know? <clears throat> Gustavus Adolphus has the best plans, I tell you. And but that's not win. Gustavus Adolphus. They're gonna win. That's Eric good. the uh, 14th. Yes, right now it is Eric the 14th, but... And your ruler isn't Gustavus at all either, it's Christopher the, Thir Christopher the Third. It is, it's about to be named Christian. Christian? Christ Christian. Well, that's your reason. That's your heir, you know. That is currently my heir, yes. You got the same dynasty as Bavaria and the Platinate. Hurrah. Day we go a marching on. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, bomb Oh, 
Oh right, France has no heir because he died. I've just realized why they can't move. Why? Ports? Uh, they're trying to get around the capital fort of Norway. Why well, you're uh, you're still losing the war? But barely, as opposed to when I was losing the war by twenty. But the point I was getting at is, I might actually hmm. How many people do I need to see this for it? Six regiments. What do I have in the way of cavalry? I don't know. I'm just over here. I'm asking you though. But no, the reason that they haven't been besieging is because they keep trying to get around the capital fort in Ashurkas, and they can't. Oh. I understand. Also, Ulster keeps building a spy network in my lands. That's good. Yeah. They want to spy on you. They can't spy on you if they don't have a spy network. <clears throat> Why is Ulster of all people trying to spy on me? Well, maybe they want to support your rebels or something. Wouldn't be the most surprising thing. I might have to stomp down some rebels of my own. This right. Alright, rebels have been stomped down. That should give me some more time to build up my military and deal with my negative six prestige. Meanwhile, I'm slowly take I'm slowly gaining back the money that was completely drained from me by looting the countryside. My legitimacy is coming back too. That's nice. Good. Probably because I lost the penalty for unlawful territory. Maybe. No, nope, no, I still have that till 1461. Huh. Holstein, you gutsy, gutsy person, you. Oh, no, not so gutsy because Norway's fleet is helping them out. <laughs> And they're taking on one galley and five transports with three galleys, a heavy ship, and two light ships. Well, Musk, we made peace with the Golden Horde. And they had to give up Kazimov and Alatyr. Oh, well that's... Poland's got separatist problems. They do? Yeah. Buzz is op. Oh, yeah, that's not going to be much of a problem for Poland. Probably also, not. making Burgundy like me again. I feel like that could be a little bit difficult, but okay. Well, no, they're already at plus 45. We got over the war. They just won't ally with me. That's all. Part of that's because they're allied to my rival.
Norway, please come help me. Sweden, please do feel free to just start attacking. That'd be too easy. Well, they're doing it right also, now. Also, you know, you can uh, control the at the focus of your subjects, right? Uh, yes, I can. So you can tell them to, like, try and back you up. Also, Moscow made peace with Kazan. Did not take any land, but they had to give up more reparations. And if lots of money. Are, if they are almost... And they're doing a shattered retreat. I don't think there are any more forces left. What are the province? Once embrace the Renaissance. Yep, Florence has the Renaissance now. Which is an interesting jump. But you know it's Florence, they're Italian too. Retreat to Stockholm. Good. I can't tell them what to do. You're not my real king. Now here's the question. Do I try to finish out the siege I'm doing right now, or do I go straight for Stockholm while they're weakened? Can you go straight for Stockholm? I mean, are you sieging a fort? Sieging a fort at the moment. Actually, going after them in Stockholm might be a problem. That is zones of control and all that. Yeah. I'd have to go around and go through north. Milan is at war with Switzerland. So much for Swiss neutrality. So let's say place your bets. Place your bets. Who do you think's gonna win? Probably Milan. Yeah, I'd agree with that. It would be fun to see Switzerland take the territory, though. Nope, you tricked the card war on me. Varant, Monster, Frisia. I didn't even see you, Utrecht. Utrecht is the small yellow one next to me. Oh, you mean the one you've almost completely surrounded? Yes, the one that has a bigger army than me. <clears throat> you can take them. They're a one province minor. I mean, you say that, but they still have a bigger army than me. Damn. Just keep defensive terrain. What's your general like? I've got that general from before. He's a 2-1-2. Uh, two, two. two fire, one shock? Time to take oh, some loans not... and have some mercenaries. I mean, that's not great, but, you know, better than nothing. Down this fort. We found their spy network again. Yes, yes, I know. What do you guys want anyway? Oh, they want Holland. I like my capital, Holland. That's fun. And monsters in the war with them. Great. <gasps> oh! I've got another loan? Great. Right. Wait. Hold on. And now he's walking away. Where are you going? Oh, that would help with the siege. Root out color option, down, army maintenance, up. Fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm not... But...
Well, it seems things have gotten tricky for both of us now, to some extent. Yep. Come on, Occupy. Zero percent chance, but... Yeah, no, I can't agree to this deal. Because then I only have one province left. No, you would have two provinces. No, I'd have one province because they want to take Breda too. Oh, they want to take Breda and Zealand? Yes. No, they don't want oh. Zealand. They want Breda and Holland. Oh. So I'd only have Zealand left. At that point, we might as well end this campaign now, because I'm out. Nonsense. You can always claw your way back from the jaws of defeat. Why? No one wants to ally with me. What about France? They don't trust me. England? Uh, let me see what they said the last time. My is not strong enough, they're neutral toward me, and my navy isn't strong enough. Monster of all places? Monsters at war with me. Oh. Sure. At least I have a half decent seat. Well, glad things are working out for you anyway. Well, they're sort of working out. Mostly reliant on AI stupidity in the terms of Scotland just kind of just kind of wandering around the northern waste constantly. Utrecht has a 1321. Huh? Utrecht has a 1321. What is this now? This is nonsense. That's what that is. There we go. Now I have a quarter. I have one in four chance of taking smile and tick. After that should be more than enough to let me march on Stockholm. On the other hand, rush building mercenaries did finish my mission. That's good. Now if only I wasn't at war. Wait a second. Holstein, what are you doing? I don't know, what are they doing? Silly things, for one. Second of all. Yes! I, I know what I need to spend my Diplo points on. I'm about to annex Holstein once this war ends. So all I need to do is march up through the Northern Corridor. Also, Forgive me for being horribly stupid on this and not knowing the act. You set the, uh, your, your uh, assholes to focus on a target. Yeah, you can do that from the subject screen. Perfect. Oh, and there are the rebels. Well, it would be funny if the rebels start attacking like, them. The rebels are hostile to Utrecht the monster. That would just be great. So if you guys could do that, thanks. Well, I managed to reduce them to the point where they won't ask me for war reparations anymore, but they still want those two provinces. Send him a war exhaustion time. Well, it's a good thing I have a 12k versus a 12k. Norway, what are you...
Thank you. You're a holy baby. At least I managed to get you to support me before they showed up. Now, if we could just take this stack and just get rid of Adolf here, that'd be nice. So many loans. But it must be done. Oh, you want to talk about loans? Sure, how many do you have now? How many loans do I have? I have... Currently five. I have five too. It's funny, I thought I had more. And I'm making positive income! I'm not. I, because I am quite literally stealing all their money from provinces I'm occupying right now. I wish I could do that, but I can't. Oh, shattered morale's running while my guys vote. Dak White. Dak White. The Bontian separate just destroyed 90%. This could be by chance. They will rise up and they will fight the uh, Utrechtian monster forces that once they're done I can sweep in and smash them. Ideally. Consolidated as best I can. How many do I have here? Norway, Nor Holstein. Holstein's been brave this whole time. I'll, I'll have to give them a reward when I annex them. Oh, yeah, kidding me. Dang it, they, they, they must have figured it out because they pulled out of Breda. And we took another one. Anyway, I think now is a uh, good place to call it quits for a bit. It's, it's a pretty good place to call it quits for a bit. I finished off my occupation in this moment. I am heading up towards Stockholm, and I shattered not one, but two armies. Meanwhile, I am fighting for my life against Munster and Utrecht. Will I win? Well, we'll find out. If, if I don't win, then this may be a very short series after all, and we'll move on to something else. Well, I don't know. You can, always you can always change over to somebody else, like, for instance, Scotland? Question Maybe. Question. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, series this far. Please leave a like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. It means a lot to know that people are watching and want more content. I am Azekra. He is Imperialist Rocketeer, and uh, have a nice night. Have a nice night, everybody.